Hello! Welcome to LNC and Knowledge Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus. Okay? Okay. So, before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. Okay, so the intuitive message I have for you guys today is you're in the process with God, right? God is in the process of removing and replacing, okay? <clears throat> that goes for every aspect of your life, every level, every um realm of your life. So I'm seeing God... Um, you know about the dimensions of the earth or the dimensions of um, the spirit realm, um, these galaxies. I'm hearing you understand the planets. Each planet has its own levels of dimensions and frequencies. You, you're existing, like you currently exist on other planets and other galaxies. Um, and it's all happening at the same time, right here, right now. So I'm feeling your um, astral body, your other form is contacting you through this message right now, letting you know, hey, things are shifting in the other planes, the other realms, and the, these other dimensions. So with you existing on these other dimensions and these other planets, it's going to trickle down to earth is what I'm hearing. It's a domino effect. So um, I'm hearing certain groups of people have certain levels of access through these dimensions. Some people have full access. Some people have limited access depending on their karmic debt through their bloodline. But I'm feeling two groups and it doesn't, it's no shaming anybody. It's like a gradual um, shift. So it's like everybody in the bloodline, in your bloodline on each and every planet and this earth has to be doing something it doesn't have to be you don't have to do the most but you have to do something positive to shift the frequency and everybody has to do it right so that's what gives you access to these other dimensions these other realms some some certain bloodlines like um the kardashians i know they don't talk about it at all and i know it's like oh i'm exposing them i don't give two shh, okay but with that being said, they're aware of their bodies on other realms and other planets. They have access and they're talking to themselves in higher forms. And they just saw, I'm seeing them doing rituals on other planes, other galaxies. And then they do the same rituals here on Earth. So just imagine that with these other elites and all these, they're tapped in, right? Um, we are the ones that have more power, so it takes us longer to get tapped in. Because once we tap in, ain't no tapping out. They gonna have to tap out, right? But with that being said, that got so deep because that wasn't even what I wrote down. Um, but it just popped in my head as soon as I as soon as I turn the camera. I swear it's a whole different consciousness that shifts in me. But um, yeah. So with that being said, God is in the process of removing and replacing. So there are certain, imagine you living on another planet or just another dimension and life is going a certain way for you, right? And like I said, good, when good happens, it happens on all realms, all dimensions. When not so good happens, it's the way you look at it. I don't, I'm kind of breaking out of that shell of saying, oh, this is bad. This is terrible because black and white, dark and white, like everything, it's a, it's a, now I'm seeing the Libra, like the balancing, balancing thing. It's a balancing act with these frequencies on these planes and stuff like that. So it's like, imagine, for example, 
you on another dimension and your family is now getting their life together on that plane, right? And then it happens here. So sometimes it takes a little bit. Time moves slower on Earth than it does anywhere else. Um, because we need time, even though it's an illusion, we need it because it gives us um, dates. It gives us more accuracy on this planet when we have times. Um, because us in this human form, like sometimes you can, I'm hearing somebody can guess the time. Like you be like, okay, the time is this. And you look at the clock and it's actually that time. So I'm hearing certain spirits that tap into the um, the frequency of time. So it's like you can tell time without looking at the time is what I'm saying. Um, you can understand what hour it is. And some certain people don't have that access as of now. But they're going to be able to do that the more that they awaken. But I definitely can relate to that, um, the time thing. Because I'd be like, what the heck? How did I know it was that time? Like, how did I? And it happens really, really often. So um, I'm hearing your manifestation abilities are getting even more powerful. Um, so with God replacing, I'm keeping, I got to keep going back to that. With God being in the process of removing and replacing, your ancestors also have a role in this. Past on loved ones also have a role in this. I'm hearing a past on loved one, they had to leave earth in order to help. They had a duty beyond the earth realm is what I'm hearing to tell you. So if there's a certain past on loved one, you're like, why did they leave? Or why was it like this? Why was it abrupt or something like that? I'm hearing them say um, they're, they want to be anonymous because it's multiple souls that had the same job for their bloodlines. So they had to be on the other side to help you is what I'm hearing. So, um, yeah, God is replacing your job for a business so say you clocking in now people clocking in for you it's the like the roles are being switched and reversed at this mo at this moment at this time and in the future so another example is god's replacing your one one bedroom he's removing your one bedroom and replacing it with a seven bedroom right god's removing you from the shelter and put putting you in an apartment god's removing you from your apartment and putting you in a house and god's removing your house and he's putting you in a mansion like it's just consistent elevation on all levels for god's people um don't matter where you're at you could be in a shelter but guess what in this lifetime you're gonna be in a mansion right like i said balancing it's about all about balancing and your humility and all of that your humbleness and that's what's getting you where you want to be. Um, I feel like in order for somebody to truly appreciate what they have and what God is doing for them, they had to be at rock bottom. So I'm okay with having zero dollars. I'm okay. I'll be humble. I'll be that person. Because then when I get to my level that I want to be at, I'm going to appreciate it way more. I'm going to appreciate the people who don't have it more than the people who do have it. Because the people who do have it don't really appreciate it for real. But you give it to the people who don't have much, you know? So I'm hearing you're going to be so abundant. You're going to give to the right people. God's going to only guide you to give to the right people who deserve that elevation. As you elevate, you will elevate other people. Blood or not blood. Um, regardless. So another one, example. God is removing your ex and replacing it with your next, with your husband, with your counterpart, with your soulmate, with your twin flame, whatever you feel connected to whatever title you feel connected to but yeah god is elevating you so your old friends you he replacing the old he removing the old replacing it with new so um yeah it's like i'm seeing everything being refurbished or something i'm seeing remodeling in your life through every level in the physical realm and spiritual Re replacing your old habits with some new habits that's awesome. Claim this reading because I definitely will. God is shifting so many things in your life. God is playing chess with your purpose right now. Okay. He's like, okay, y'all move this way. I'm going to move her this way. Or I'm gonna, you, you moving this way, lady? Okay, I'm going to move him this way because I don't, I don't play that. I don't want him around you. God is picky with who could be in your energy. Like God is real picky on who can be in your aura he don't like everybody being in your aura aura so sometimes 
You may feel bad by letting people go or wondering why we ain't talking as much. Because God don't want you around them a lot, okay? So, um, I'm hearing you're letting, as you, as you gain a relationship with God and your spirit guides, it's like everything around you started to fall in place. Um, people who are not in connections or in partnership with God and with their spiritual team, with Jesus, whoever they connect with a positive light, you know, your life ain't going to be right. Like, I'm so serious. Like, I can say that from experience. Like, yes, I've been in so many bad relationships, friendships because I wasn't connected to God. I didn't realize God was at that time. I didn't realize God was going to give me everything I needed, you know? friends houses huh? everything i needed sometimes what i want wasn't meant for me you know and that's what you're realizing too and you're okay with getting what you need instead of what you want sometimes what you want don't last long but what you need lasts forever i need god he he with me forever right that's how you feeling so yeah let me get you guys some cards hey spirit hey god solitude what the heck and solar plexus chakra so number nine and number three could be significant could be your life path could be a favorite number number 12 can be um your favorite number so i'm looking at nine and i and e that's four so the number four could be significant for you too three um t-h-r-e-e -E, that's five so four and five, then it equals nine again, back to nine. What the heck? That's really cool. Then nine plus three, 12. Then you can make that three. Um, You know, when you add the one and the two like that. Then you can go deeper with breaking down number 12 too and getting a num uh, another number out of that. So I'm saying you're breaking down numbers or you're decoding things. You're able to decode messages through a lot of things or light codes. Your light codes are being activated or something like that. Your solar plexus chakra is being, um, I'm hearing going back to, I'm hearing going back to basis, basis, basics. I'm hearing like with the solar plexus, plexus, eh, plexus chakra, it's like, something's being rejuvenated rejuvenated you're in solitude rejuvenating yourself your confidence and how you view yourself to the world um let me look up something real quick number nine came out again with spiritual strength you're very your your powers are being strengthened at this moment as we speak every second that goes by you're getting more spiritually in tune. So, um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry, I'm just looking up something real quick. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> definitely you're going to be, oh burn manipura m-a-n-i-p-u-r-a incense and it, essential oils for your solar plexus chakra um oh you're gaining your power back oh especially with your, your spiritual power it's like it's increasing right now so uh yeah because solar plexus chakra is all about your personal power. Oh, healing from the past. So you're healing from something. Things that are being brought to the surface from the new moon or from the uh, Tintin portal or the solar eclipse. Um, energy is bringing up things for you to heal. Oh, practice um, postures that balance your solar plexus chakra. Um so you're releasing self-doubt. You should be wearing yellow. Wear more yellow. Surround yourself with yellow. Listen to solar plexus um, chakra healing frequencies. I'm hearing pay attention to each frequency separately. There are chakras that help um, all seven, but it's like you won't internally feel the whole shift in each one because they're all doing it at once. So I'm hearing do it one at a time. 
and I'm hearing work your way up. So um, definitely work on your main chakras because we have so many chakras, like way more than we could ever. They have a lot. They document a lot, but we focus on the seven, but there's nine, but then there's way more than that. Um, chakras throughout our joints and our uh, pressure point is so much it's so much but um definitely focus on your solar plexus chakra is what i'm hearing and work your way up so even if you need to start at the root and go from the root one day each day oh my gosh how they want to make us pay attention to the seven chakras even though there's more pay attention to the seven and each day work on each chakra separately so you don't have to be, or you can do one week of just solar plexus, one week of just root, one week of, but work your way up. Don't do like solar, then crown chakra, then do it in order. It's basically like, don't skip is what I'm hearing, to, what I'm here to tell you. Like, um, don't skip over one is what I'm hearing. So you can, obviously root chakra is the, the lowest one, but if this one's popping up first, that's the one that they're drawing your attention to right now. But yeah, each day, start on a Sunday, start on a Saturday, and then, okay, you can write it down. Today, I'm focusing on solar plexus, so I'm going to listen to it. The meditations, I'm going to listen to the frequency. I'm going to wear yellow. I'm going to light a yellow candle, and I'm seeing yellow lighter. You might smoke or something like that, but um, or incense, burning something. Uh even writing down, I balance my solar plexus chakra. I call your power back. This is all about calling in your power from other planets, other realms. Like tap into your star system. Where are you from? Call your power back from there. Not even calling it back. It's just like take your power from that planet because that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be pulling energies from other sources, even God, obviously God. But we're so multidimensional. We need to tap into these other realms in order to gain our full be at reach our full potential so yeah that's what i have for you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace